Hey, what's up guys? It's Farmer Jack and today we're going to talk about vetiver grass. So I love these clumpy grasses in my food forest because I chop them off, like give them a big buzz cut and I feed them to my fruit trees and the fruit trees love it. It kind of acts like a mulch. So you're kind of like growing your own mulch next to your fruit trees. So we, whenever we're you know, building out our fruit trees, like food forest systems, we want to not only think about the fruit trees, but we want to think about all the aspects to it so we don't have to bring in inputs like bagged mulch or something from, a, from Home Depot and, and, feed, and throw it on our trees when we could grow it for free, you know, right next to the tree. Um, so I like vetiver grass because it takes a really long time to break down. So it acts as a mulch so you don't have to re apply all the time so it acts as a mulch for a long long time and then it turns into really good soil right it turns into compost um that's why i love vetiver grass you could do other grasses there's some native other like like fakahatchee grass is a native that you could use if you really like natives that takes a while to break down but um those leaves are really sharp so i try not to use those for like kids and stuff um vetiver isn't as sharp and um, it grows super quick and it uh, takes forever to break down. So this is kind of the best one I found. Um, but again, experiment with other clumping grasses. Maybe you'll find something even better, you know? So this is how you chop it down. I would use like hedge trimmers because you, it goes quicker. But these are loppers and you just kind of So basically you do that, you cut it down to nothing and give it a big haircut and it comes right back and you do this again in a couple months. So you take all your new mulch and you put it next to your tree. <laughs> it's called chop and drop. A lot of people would think, oh, like, like well, why would you do that? You're just making a pile of mess. This is gonna feed your plant. So if you kind of make it pretty, you could do a ring around it or whatever. But like this has so much like silica, all these really good, um, you know, nutrients and goodies that your, your fruit tree wants. Um, so you chop and drop it, you put it right around the tree and uh, you do it again in a couple months and then we don't have to keep getting bags of mulch. So that's the idea. Also, if you're in a place where there's a lot of hills and stuff, this acts as erosion control. So you could put it on a hillside or something and then pretty much terrace your yard by using this to kind of hold the ground. So it's like an erosion control as well. But I really want to mention it because growing your fertilizer is really part of the process as well. So I encourage you guys to plant these. Um, we don't only want to plant our, our edible stuff, but we want to plant our support plants that are going to make the edible stuff really thrive long, long term, you know. The best way to propagate these is uh, by root division. So you could come with a shovel and just kind of pop it out, like a little piece of it out with like, you know, a bunch of roots and you can go start it somewhere else. So that's the best way to start it. Um, I wouldn't do cuttings or anything, um, but uh, that's how I started and I kind of multiplied around the food forest. So that's vetiver grass. I hope you guys learned something and see you next time.